Garnet Cloud Analytics. So if you wanted to uh, make a visual display based on the slicer selection and uh, hide the visual if not selected in the uh, slicer, then we can create a simple DAX function uh, based measure and we can apply it as a filter and that would allow you to get this functionality as required. So in this video, I'm going to illustrate on how you can achieve this particular requirement and uh, what is the calculation that is needed to be created. So without any delay, let's get started. So uh, like I did mention, so show a height visual based on a slicer selection means. So for example, here in the slicer where I have category and the visual is being uh, built based on the subcategory wise sales. Now, if I make any value selection within my slicer, the data has been uh, populated in my respective visual. But if I do not make any slicer value select selection right like this, then I do not want it to display that particular visual uh, and it just needs to be empty. So how can we achieve this kind of a scenario, right? So let me quickly show you how we can create a measure and how we can apply that to act as a show or height based uh, visual uh, display. Uh, based on my slicer selection. So I will create a new measure, uh, which is uh, probably I'll try to create a new one. So I'll try to bring in my subcategory and sales and I'll create this as a bar chart, a simple bar chart. Okay. And then I will uh, create a slicer. I'll apply a slicer based on my category. Okay. Now, we have the slicer applied and if as you see here as we make the selections in my slicer the data is getting updated in my visual and if i do not make any value selection in my slicer the data is still populating considering the overall category values okay now i do not want to display this visual if i do not make any value selection in my slicer so for this requirement i'm going to create a new measure And here I would be using a function called is filter. Okay, so what does this is filter function does? So it would return a true true value when there are any filters being applied on that corresponding column. If it if not, then it would uh, return as a false value. So ideally, this is filter function is a boolean function. So therefore, it would return it as a true or false kind of a output. Now, uh, what do we need to apply here? So we need to say is filtered off based on the value, which is my category coming in from my orders table. And uh, since I wanted to apply this on this respective visual, I would like to convert this output, which is ideally a true or false to a integer value like one or zero. So therefore, I'm going to convert this expression into an integer so that I get my required output as desired. So if I do not convert this into an integer, the output would be returned as true or false. Okay, now I'll just uh, apply this and I'll select this particular visual because I wanted to hide this visual if there is no slicer value selection uh, selected, right? So therefore, I would like to apply that uh, created measure as a visual filter. So I would have to first select the particular visual on which we would like to apply that particular filter. And then within my filters pane, we have this filters on this visual, right? So here I would need to bring that newly created measure onto this data fields value and then within this value selection i would select is one and then i'll hit on apply now you see the moment i uh, applied this particular filter on my respective visual the data has been disappeared or that particular visual has been disappeared now if i make a value selection within my slicer the data is still uh, populated based on my value selection. Okay, so this is how we can enable that show or hide kind of a functionality when needed in your reporting requirement based on a slicer selection. So here we've used a very simple DAX function, which is the is filtered function that would allow us to get a Boolean output 
uh, and then we have tried to convert that into an integer format so that we are able to apply that value on that uh, respective visual as a visual level filter okay so i hope this uh, topic is clear to you and if in case if you come across such kind of a scenario to be implemented in your project then you can easily be able to apply this logic and get that required output as needed so that's it for today if you like this video please do like share and subscribe and please do not forget to leave a comment in the comment section thank you